Hey guys, it's Marissa at KitchenTableStamper.com. Today I've got a really cute whale hello pouch for you. Kind of on a bit of a tropical theme. I should be in Hawaii on the Stampin' Up! incentive trip, but because of the Coronos, we're not. So I thought some fun summer projects this week would be really appropriate. So I've got the little whale hello pouch here. And it is... Um, holds a pack of these flavor blasted goldfish. I've seen before little packs of whale crackers and couldn't find any, but I thought how cute would these little flavor blasted goldfish be? This is a great little treat, individually packed. Found them like this, the nine lunch packs at my local Meyer and thought they'd be really fun to kind of dress up. So when I saw them, I knew I was gonna pair them with the whale hello from the Celebration of Tags stamp set. I love this little Celebration of Tags stamp set. It's nine tags on three stamps and one die cuts all three tags at one time when you use the trio of tags die. So we're gonna go ahead and um, make a little pouch for this. After I found the goldfish and knew I wanted to use it with a whale hello tag, I said, hmm, how do I want to package these little guys? And what came to mind for me was this guy. Do you remember the just floating by to say hi, walrus tissue pack? I was like, that is the perfect little idea there. So if you um, have seen this one, that's where I started from, was with this little tissue pouch and said, oh, perfect for my little goldfish. I'll link to this video in case you want to see that one. So here's our pouch. And what we need to get started is a piece of bumblebee cardstock. Now, unlike the walrus, this one's just a little bit taller, you'll see. So just a slight modification and we have a new little treat pouch. So this one is five and a half by 10 and a half. And let's score this one. We're gonna score it the same way as the walrus one. It's just that our total size paper is half an inch wider. So we're still gonna score at three and eight just like we did for the walrus. And then rotate and score it at a half an inch. So here we go. Three, eight, and we'll rotate. And we'll score this one at half an inch. I think I scored the walrus at five eighths. There we go. I love to just build on my creativity. The walrus tissue pouch was such a cute little project. And with small modifications, we can just keep using the same ideas. All right, so we've worked all of our creases. Now let's cut away the excess. This one's simple. We're gonna cut just a little bevel cut and then cut off the score line here. We're leaving the center tab. So again, we'll cut a little bevel cut off with the tab. So this is what we're left with. Now let's turn this dude over. We're gonna do this so that the short side gets the adhesive. We're gonna put some tear and tape. So fold in the shorter tab, run a strip of adhesive. And then we can run a strip of adhesive right along the bottom. Burnish those down. That might take your pick tool. Let's expose the adhesive here on the long side. Fold up and burnish. Then we'll expose the adhesive on the bottom tab here. And fold up and burnish. Now we've got our cute little pouch. I've got some designer series paper here. This is another pattern from the Whale of a Time designer series paper. It's six by six. It's bold color palette. Lots of fun designs here. I couldn't just do the same design again. I had to try something else. I've been really enjoying all these fun bold patterns, especially 
with this well hello tag from Celebration Tags. All right, we can glue that guy on. It's gonna go edge to edge, right to left, but we want an equal border framing the top and the bottom of our Bumblebee cardstock. Multi-purpose liquid glue is great for this application because you can give it a little slide if need be. So here we go. Equal top to bottom, then we can burnish that down on our little pouch. So cute. Let's set aside our pouch for just a second here and do some stamping. Got a Whisper White scrap, just Jade, Bumblebee, and Pacific Point inks. Got my Stampin' Pierce mat. And we're going to start with our Well Hello in Bumblebee because that's going to make the base of our tag. So we're going to go ahead and just ink up Well Hello. We're going to stamp that on the edge of our scrap. And then we'll die cut this dude. We're going to need a few more impressions of that Well Hello for details. So let me cut that aside. We're going to die cut that one in a minute. We need to clean the Well Hello stamp because I want a Pacific Point Whale. So I'm going to ink up my little whale in Pacific Point. I'm going to stamp him right here. And then I want his spout, the liquid, the little water that he's spouting, I want that to be just jade. So we're going to stamp him one more time in just jade. And then we'll paper piece the color the multicolor stamp images or the multi images to make one multicolored tag. So just Jade. And we'll stamp that little guy. We're really only concerned with getting his spray. And there it is. All right. I'm going to move the ink pads away and I'm going to fussy cut my Pacific Point Whale and the little spray. Now, to make things a little easier, you could fussy cut the whale and the spray all in one piece, all in one color. Or you could go over the bumblebee spray on uh, the bumblebee image. You can go over the spray with a darker color like the Pacific Point using your stamp and write markers. So do what works for you and for your um, your dexterity and what gives you joy. I love to cut and I don't mind cutting these tiny little fussy cut bits, but if that's not your speed, there's other ways around it. So we're gonna cut out the Pacific Point, just the whale, and now just Jade, I'm gonna cut just the spray. Got my little tricolor pieces. Let's slide those to the side. I don't want to lose them. We'll glue them down as soon as we can, but we got to die cut our tag. My big shot here. Now there's a mix and matchable um, element about this stamp set. So you'll see now this cover images are only at 95%, so just keep that in mind. But when you cut out each of these um, stamps to get the three images, they're kind of um, uh, assigned to their tag shape. But when you stamp just one image, you can go ahead and cut it out with any shape that you want. And that's what's really fun about this stamp set is it can give you three tags, one pass, really quick work of it, or you can get creative and you can really mix and match your tags with your images. So instead of using the end, this like frilly tag with the uh, loopy top and bottom, we're gonna use the more standard tag shape. And that's our choice. Here's our little well hello tag. Now let's glue those other pieces that we just cut before I lose them. I'm gonna take the tiniest spot of multi-purpose liquid glue on the spray. I'm gonna take your pick tool and pick up that little just jade spray and just glue it right over top of the bumblebee one. And now I'm gonna take my little whale and add a bit of dimensional adhesive to the back. And we'll put that guy on with a little bump. 
So now we've got a really cool multicolor tag. That's just a whole lot of fun. <laughs> I love that. The little details. So cute. Isn't that cute? All right. Bring our pouch back in here and our sample for just a minute. I did a little bit of die cutting ahead of time here. Got a really cool heart spray and kind of a small primitive heart. I cut those from Calypso Coral ahead of time. And I used this Stitched Be Mine dies. It's this um, littlest primitive heart and then this spray. Um, just die cut them out of Calypso Coral. Did that one ahead of time. I also die cut this um, largest label shape. This is the um, 3 and 7 sixteenths by 2 and 5 sixteenths largest label from Stitch So Sweetly. Did a little punching ahead of time too. Let me show you those. I did this um, story label punch from Pacific Points and an everyday label punch also from Pacific Point. And then I've got a little seaweed here. I cut it from just Jade. And this seaweed is done with the smooth saline dyes. I'm gonna grab, because we're gonna do a couple of cuts from there. The little knot for the top is from Smooth Sailing, and so is this seaweed. So we're gonna die cut one more seaweed and a knot for our project. So I got a little Just Jade scrap here. Got a little scrap of Bumblebee. Now what I wanna do with this scrap of Bumblebee before we die cut it, I'm gonna grab my foam adhesive sheets. I love these. I am never applying little die cut images dimensional without these sheets ever again. So what we'll do is we'll pop that little scrap onto our adhesive sheets, close up, then trim off the little scrap. That'll leave as much of this intact as possible because trust me, you can use every last bit of these sheets. They're really economical. We'll throw away the wax. And then we've got a piece to die cut our little knot. Let's grab the Big Shot one more time. Slide our pieces to the side for a minute. We'll do a quick run. So we're gonna add just jade and the seaweed. And our bumblebee with the knot. We're going to crank it through. Now I'm going to go back and forth. I don't know that it's necessary, but because one of these layers is um, foam and because one of the layers is not, I'm just going to go back and forth to be sure that I get a good cut for both of these. Our seaweed has some detail to it too that I don't want to lose. All right. We'll go both ways. Okay, let's see how we did here. We're gonna pop this little knot off and look at that, it cut all the way through. I'm not ready to peel and stick it yet, so I'm gonna just set it aside. And this little guy here, let's make sure he came out with all of his little detail cuts. Yep, no problem. So nice and clean, both this kind of detailed seaweed and that knot with its foam adhesive cut out just fine in one pass. We've got a little bit more work to do with the Big Shot here, so let me take away the thin die adapter and the cutting plate. We're going to add a texture to our label here. I've got this old world paper. I think it also kind of looks like water. So we're gonna add a little texture to our label. Pop that guy in. We need our 3D folder adapter. That's the blue plate. Give that a crank. Look at that cool texture. Isn't that fun? All right, let's put together our little pouch. If you're like so many right now, you're separated from your grandchildren, these would be fantastic little pouches to give the grandkids. The individually wrapped snacks are really nice 
um, you know, it's safe for this um, current climate that we find ourselves in. Let's go ahead and um, assemble some of these parts. I hate having little parts laying around, more things that I can lose. So we'll take Well Hello, the tag, and we're going to glue that to our everyday label. And then we're going to glue our everyday label, and we just kind of make that so that it's pretty equal all the way around. The little corners of the tag are going to come off of the ticket punch corners on the um, everyday label punch. Then I'm going to take the back of Well Hello and put a little bit of multi-purpose liquid glue and I'm going to pick up those seaweed pieces. So we've got two of them and this is our chance to make them look kind of nice across the bottom. So we're going to choose where those go and just pick them up in the multi-purpose liquid glue that's on the back of the tag. I want that a little wider. I want to see that seaweed a little more there. And once you've got that, you can go ahead and add a little more multi-purpose liquid glue. And we'll adhere the tag that we're creating with the seaweed here to the label. Nice and level, kind of centered right to left. All right, once you got that, you can burnish down now. I'm going to take my little spray of hearts. I liked it because it kind of reminded me of bubbles and it gave nice contrast against the Pacific Point designer series paper. We'll see how we like it with the um, softer, the kind of balmy blue pool party designer series paper. But I just put some adhesive right on the front side in the center and I'm going to lay that centered on the back of my tag and just use the tag to pick it up and do any adjusting before it dries. Get it a little more level. We're gonna take a little bit of multi-purpose liquid glue on the top of the tag here and add it to our pouch so that the little bubbles, the little heart bubbles don't quite go off the edge. Once you've got good placement, burnish it down. Now I need my handy dandy 1 8 inch circle punch. We're going to open the pouch. Make sure you open the pouch here. You don't want to go through the back of the pouch. We're going to put the whole thing into the punch and we're going to punch right through in the center of the hole that's already cut on our Well Hello tag. So we're going through all the layers there. With this great color palette, with this designer series paper, I think you'll be surprised and delighted to find how well the combo pack from the Ornate Garden Suite coordinates. This is a fantastic find. It just shows that Stampin' Up's color palette is, um, and having that color palette and everything available in those colors is totally a benefit. So we're using the Calypso Coral, but the old olive one would be perfect with these papers too. So keep those ribbons, that combo pack in mind when you're using your Whale of a Time Designer Series paper. So I've threaded in and over the top of the pouch. Now we're going to make a little bow right over that knot. So our tag looks like it's tied on. We know it's glued on, but that's okay. It'll look so pretty anyways and bring that pop of coral from the background paper up to the front. So pretty. I love this paper too. Let me trim that off the bolt. I always tie from the spool when I'm creating because you cut off the bolt on this end, no waste, and that's all we're throwing away. You hear me say that a lot if you watch kitchen table stamper videos. All right, let's bring our other design in here. Look at how different they look. Isn't that wild? <laughs> all right, let's get our um, goldfish all dressed up. So we've got the story label punch, and we're going to just kind of roll that in half and give it a gentle fold. We don't want it to look all cracked and, and crumbly. 
And then once you've got that, you can add a little bit of dry adhesive, just a touch, whatever you want to use here, your seal or seal plus, just a tiny bit on the front and a little bit more on the back. You can go ahead and adhere that to your bag. Not quite to the um, top of the package. Leave just a little bit of room there. All right, we've got our little heart. Let's grab some multi-purpose liquid glue and we're gonna add a little heart to our tab. Notice how we haven't closed it yet, that's okay. Let me bring in the sample one so I can show you placement. You want the um, heart to exceed past the label, little jaunty angle, so watch where you put your adhesive. I just secured down my adhesive in the back and didn't mean to. Hold on, we still wanna lift that up from the bag. Just a little bit longer. And then our knot with the dimensional adhesive. Let's go ahead and peel that and weed it. If you haven't seen me use this adhesive in another video, you'll, um, I think, be interested to know that this piece right here is as good as a glue dot, so or as good as a dimensional. So if you want to, you can take the little adhesive from the top and just pick these little bits out and then you can use it like a dimensional. So there's absolutely no waste. You can also cut this little piece up, so hold on to that and use that just like dimensional adhesive. Have an issue weeding these tiny little pieces out. That's what my take your pick tool is for. I'll just dig those little guys out. We'll add that little knot to the top of our treat and then got an itty bitty little stapler here and we're going to with the label open we're going to staple through our little knot and heart twice and that secures it to the pack further but it also gives us that little embellishment that I love now go ahead and secure the back with that adhesive that you put on the label and your pouch is all dressed up. Let's put these guys back in the treats. How cute is that? Well, hello. And then this one. Got a totally different look depending on the designer series paper that you chose, but both are just sweet little snack pouches. Something great that you can um, feel confident giving out even in these um, interesting times when we're all being so careful not to spread germs. I love that about this. It's fun, it's summer, it's festive. I hope that you really enjoyed the tutorial. If you have questions about the project, email marissa at kitchentablestamper.com and a shop 24-7. Buzz over to marissaalvarez.stampinup.net. Thanks for watching.